Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly tarot card reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Always check out your Sun, Moon, and your Rising Signs. This is an energy reading, so these readings are going to expose the energies that you're going to be dealing with, and it's better to know what you're dealing with, right? There's always an extended reading. That link is below. It just carries on the messages and answers the questions that we begin here in this reading. Um, if you really love this reading, please be sure to like it and then share it on your social media platforms. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel, help Born Without Boundaries grow, and um, re remember to ring that bell so that you, get, you can select all notifications and then you'll know when I upload your favorite content. Aquarius comes out every single Wednesday with Capricorn Tarot and Pisces Tarot before between 8 and 9 a.m. on the Pacific Coast, and then you have about 12 noon to 1 over on the East Coast of the U.S., and in, over in Western Europe, it's going to be around 5 or 6 p.m. at night. So um, I hope all you guys can catch it and tune in. All right, Aquarius, let's go. This is really interesting energy, and your reading last week was, sorry about that, was actually really phenomenal. Um, so let's, I'm going to channel a general energy reading, um, and then I'm, I'm using, I'm going to use the cards, and then I will, I'll divide uh, the energy into career, money, and love. So this is for Aquarius. Aquarius. Lots of divine guidance here. Moldavite, unconventionality. And I think that, that is perfect for you. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. Right? This is speaking to the general energy in the air, not just Aquarius energy, but in the air um, that's kind of floating around of just being feeling inadequate and insecurities really becoming front and center. So for you, this is energy of how do you use the insecurities? How do you use the insecurities to demonstrate your uniqueness to the world? Right? That's kind of like the, the vibe of this card. And it's your uniqueness that even though you may feel a little bit, yeah, singled out in some ways, it also makes you singular and that's something to be grateful for. It's not about arrogance. It's about self-acceptance. And then we have uh, Parado, life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessings they contain. So there is something that you have been questioning, something that has been in, like of particular concern for you. And prayer is going to be very helpful now. Pray to know, pray to understand. Don't, it's not like pray, praying to have the answers given to you. It's about praying to understand what the issues are. Like, sincerely, I don't, I don't know what to think of this. I don't know, uh, I know how I feel and I don't like how I feel. I don't like the confusion. Can you lead me toward, um, a, uh, a specific, an answer? Um, make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now, Aquarius. Okay, I think I'm starting to see where this is going. Let's go. Aquarius, please. Breathe. And for an air sign, breath is extremely important. It's not only actual, it's not only a way something that we need to do of course but it's a representation of what you are taking life in and letting it go taking life in and letting it go in other words making room for what for what wants to come in by allowing the release of what isn't useful anymore what's been used up in your life um this is also a sense of centering yourself and meditate a kind of prayer, if you will, a connecting to the divine simply by clearing out all the other thoughts in your mind and focusing on your breath. As an air sign, it's very important to use breathing work as a way to connect yourself and root yourself and feel, in other words, so much is feeling like it's floating in the wind right now. It's, it's necessary to feel grounded. Well, breathing is how air signs can feel grounded. Bre breath 
is the grounding device or the grounding mechanism of air signs. So this is breath, like breathe to feel grounded, especially in uncertainty. Poised. You're ready for something. Oh, I think you've set your sights on something and you're ready to have it. There might be a little bit of anxiety or a little bit of, uh, I can't wait for it any longer. When is it going to get here? It's almost a sense of uh, feeling con like content with the knowledge that it's, it's, it's real, but where is it kind of energy. That's like, the, that's the question. Where is it? Okay. What does Aquarius need to know? Um, something is over. Something needs to be let go of. The Ten of Swords is here saying something has finished and completely over. If you have been holding on to a hope of something, I think that psychically you know that hope has to be finished. Um, this is the King of Swords. This could be your energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, keeping something to yourself, remaining aloof. But no, no, this is making a firm decision, a good decision, because something hasn't worked out and something needs to be released. Almost objectively looking at all the pain that you've suffered and figuring what can I do with that? Where can I place it? Okay. Well, you will be reaping rewards. Nine of, or you already did because this is coming up in the past. Money coming into you or accolades or um, credit where it's due. Um, wait. That's what it is. It's almost like you're, you're, you've been waiting for something to come to you for so long you're almost giving up on it. That's what's going on. Why are you still thinking about it? Why are you still waiting? It doesn't make any sense to wait for anything. It's still occupying a portion of your mind. And that's creating a rift between what you have and what you want. Happiness is when what you, ha what, when, when what you want and what you have are the same things. So Aquarius, this rift that's happening right now is starting to go soul level to break pieces apart or pieces off of you because you don't have what you want. You have been rationalizing what's been happening to it, why it hasn't come. You've been thinking about it so much you're, you're injuring yourself. You've been waiting for this thing that just hasn't been showing up. Why are you waiting? Shut the door. It's not changing. It hasn't changed. This could be about love, but we'll get into those specifics. This is a relationship, something that was meant to be, some a strong attraction, thinking that something was supposed to come in or something almost expecting that this person was supposed to be glorious and extremely attractive then you had all these expectations for what this person was supposed to be and that's why you're not finding them because you're not looking at soul level you're looking at surface level and this doesn't have to be just a person this could be like a situation or an opportunity you're looking at surface level at what glitters you're not looking at soul level at what is actually really connected to who you are and what you want to be and that's where your unconventionality comes in it's like you're not conventional so why are you looking for somebody who is conventionally gorgeous or con why are you looking for an opportunity that's conventionally accepted as popular you're not normal why look for normal there's a disconnect so we have here open up your heart to what it is that you've dreamed of this is going to be a huge leap of faith for you to let yourself be vulnerable. I just, like, 
Aquarians usually will not allow this to be seen about them, but this Queen of Cups energy is just be honest about what you feel next to the Six of Cups and how long that you've been really wanting this. Um, and um, could be a specific person. Three of uh, Cups is here too. Three of Cups could be a third party situation. You could want somebody that is with somebody else or you could be with somebody but also want somebody else. This could also translate into opportunity of you know just saying, I'm longing for something that I don't have. But I do know what I want, but right now it, it's, it's, it's somebody else's. Scorpio energy, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aquarius. You could just be like kind of in a rage and really pissed and about to just like kill everything, hit the kill switch. Um, there's heartbreak here. There's a lot of suffering. You don't want there to be suffering. You're kind of stuck in suffering. You're kind of stuck in a perpetual state of suffering. What do we do about this? What do we do about this? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. What do we do about this? Trapped in fear. Mm, what is this fear? Fear of what? Authority. Somebody taking control of you. Of somebody, um, somebody being in charge of you. And I think that's in some ways, sometimes, sometimes, some ways that's what's happening. Either that or some of you are afraid to step into an authority role. To be, to have your authority recognized. But I think this is more about against. Um, this is more about not wanting to be controlled. With the Scorpionic energy here, it's just this sense of feeling like you don't have control over the situation anymore. Hmm. What is the situation? What is the situation? Aquarius, please. We have two of cups. So once again, it's about partnership. Once again, ace of swords, maybe taking control. Uh, eight of wands, opportunities coming in. And the hermit is Virgo energy. You're worried about, the truth is this, you're worried about doing things on your own. That's what the concern is. The concern is constantly having to be alone. Like where are the opportunities to be with, with somebody? Or well, w wanting to be in a partnership with somebody? Or it could be you're afraid of somebody else's success, a partner's success. You've held it in. You've kept it inside of you. Because deep inside, you don't want your partner to be too successful so that they'll leave you. You want to maintain, maintain control in this situation. Yes, you can flip this energy. This could be what, how, what, how, the person you're interacting with or the situation. Because you have the Two of Cups, a, a perfect partnership. And then you have Ace of Swords, clarity and triumph and opportunities coming in. And then you hit the Hermit, which is going inside of yourself. Could also be, however, this season, cultivating opportunities. So this could be a timestamp actually of good news. That the partnership that you have been, 
that 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 your desires are coming to you but they're coming to you from places that are smaller than you realize that's why the virgo energy is there this is virgo season this is about planting this is about designing your life and bringing it up not about it just flopping in your face this is about the seeds that you're planting your your seeds that you planted that you started to give up on because you just were disappointed by things you did not see those seeds are starting to sprout and you're starting to see growth for the first time ever and that can bring you a great deal of joy but you also don't want to, you want to stay focused on cultivating them and protecting them all of a sudden there's something for you to defend and that's where the control comes in you don't want this to control you you actually felt a little bit of freedom when you were about to be released from the worry, from the frustration of, well, if this thing didn't grow, I don't have to stick around, but this thing has grown and you do have to stick around. And that's very frustrating. Something like something to that, that effect is it's, it's, you've got to stay around now because it started to grow and there's frustration in that. Because the freedom was starting to feel good to you. Hmm. Aquarius and career, please. Aquarius and career, please. Ah, you'll feel really good in your career. There's a whole lot of abundance coming to you in your career. Ace of Cups is could even be that because of your career, you're meeting somebody. You're going to get married to somebody who does the same thing as you. Your career could be bringing you love. And then we have, yeah, Queen of Wands. Somebody really wants you. There's a whole lot of appeal for you right now. People want to connect with you. Um, you're a forerunner in what you do. Your career is probably taking off because this is um, the celebrity card. So there could be opportunities for celebrity within your career now. Um, offers of connection, of, um, of compatibility, of uh, contracts. All of those things happening in your career, people definitely see you and want you because of your level of uh, passion for what you do. Career. Career. This is a timestamp of when this is all coming to Aquarius. Ah, the King of Pentacles. When is it coming? That's not a when, it's a who. This, there's a person here that is, and this is the authority that, uh, yeah. He's, he's somebody who it got, has, has it all. This could be a job, a job offer. This could be uh, somebody who wants to partner with you, but they have a lot of power. So as exciting as that is, it's also intimidating because you're like, but these are my ideas. I don't, I don't want them to take over. Okay, let's go into money. Money for Aquarius, please. Money for Aquarius. Money for Aquarius, please. Money for Aquarius. Money for Aquarius. What did you got to say? Money for Aquarius, please. Money for Aquarius. Interesting. Money for Aquarius, please. Money for Aquarius. Money for Aquarius, please. Money for... You're making your own money. The magician is the one that popped up. So it's through your own efforts and energy that you're you're making your own money and you're starting to see little dividends, little little things starting to return. Um, I don't feel like you feel very satisfied here. You don't think that you're making what you should be making based on what you've been putting in and what you've been creating. So there is a deficit here be between what you have created and the money that it's making. This is these are like small potatoes. There are offers and opportunities coming to you, maybe through DMs and emails. Um, I don't think uh, I think you want to be on your own. I don't think that you want or are attracted to any of these offers. But are you? Is Aquarius attracted to any of these offers on the table? Um, no, you're not. That's the answer. Five of Swords is you see defeat in it and you're very de defensive against it. It's like you don't want to share your money or your conduits for money with people. And you, you clearly don't trust. You think that these maybe these people are novices. 
um, how they're writing to you is very kind of like ramshackle or it's not eloquent or it, it's like it's too new. It's like you're, you're not getting the offers from the big potatoes that you want, right? And, and so in terms of finances, you're very defensive about these opportunities to make more money that have been coming into you. Okay. Um, based on how you value yourself. Love. Let's see what's going on with love. You've been waiting. This is, this is the stagnated part of the reading. You've been reflecting on past relationships, past experiences, the lessons that you've learned from them, what they've taught you. In the past, you have not been or don't feel like you have been um, really, in terms of love, really appreciated for what you do. Um, it's almost like you've been waiting for somebody to see you and to appreciate all of you. You don't feel like that's ever happened. And as you reflect back, you're trying to figure out why, why for Aquarius, why? This could even be because the, sorry, this could even be you in a relationship. You're feeling that there's a lot coming out here. Okay, there's a lot coming out here. This could be how you're feeling in the relationship, not appreciated. Like that it's, it, you, it, it, it's like, why don't they fucking see, right? That I deserve better. Um, this is strength. Um, I think you're, I think there's a lot of courage happening here and it's going to take a lot of courage for you to start looking in a new direction for your relationship uh, because you feel abandoned or you feel like you're about to be abandoned um, or you feel like you're somehow uh, isolated from your partner and then we have five or that you're about to be left. Now this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be the love of somebody. It's just you feel like they're about to leave you. Because they're network, you see that they're networking, or you see they're starting to pay more attention to different prospects. Because something about you, you see that they're starting to look toward different prospects. The Two of Pentacles is here, not really um, knowing what to do with the situation, trying to make the best out of the situation um, until you figure things out and get more information. Let me get more information for you. I will see you guys in the extended. The link is below. I do hope you follow me over to carry on the message. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.